one issue uh, that is a concern uh, in Indonesia related to the statement of the commander of the Indonesian uh, National Armed Forces, Mr. Agus Subianto, who said that uh, civilians and community organizations can go to Gaza. We talk about, uh, about the Gaza conflict uh, in Palestine for peace mission. Uh, you have a lot of uh, experience in uh, DPO and, you, and also in political diplomatic experience. Uh, what is your comment? Hmm. Well, um, what I would say is that uh, for any peacekeeping operation to be deployed, uh, there are conditions and they apply everywhere. Mm. The number one condition is that there has to be an agreement between the parties. Okay. You know, because it's peacekeeping. So peacekeeping is, has to be based on, on an agreement. The parties have to accept that uh, there should be a deployment of peacekeepers. So that's number one. Then the second condition, which is critically important, is that any decision to deploy a peacekeeping operation is made by the UN Security Council. So okay. it's not me, it's not the UN Secretary General mm -hmm. who decide to send peacekeepers, it's the member states oh. in this uh, very important body of the United Nations, which is the UN Security Council. I think that there is a third very important element. The peacekeepers need to be accepted by the local communities. You know, they need to be accepted by the population. They need to be seen as agents of peace. Oh. not as uh, some sort of uh, occupier. Okay. And this is why the peacekeepers are doing their best to build trust with the communities and the Indonesian peacekeepers are very good at that. You mm. know, they have managed to establish a very good relation of trust with the communities uh, in which, you know, among which they are deployed. 